So in this video, we're going to continue our series on creating Word documents from a Rails application. Um, in the last, uh, last video, <coughs> uh, we were using this, <coughs> uh, this file as, our, uh, as the file to be returned, but you know, we certainly want to be able to add um, content from <coughs> our database as our um, content for the um, for the word file. So, um, so let's go ahead and get rid of some of this. I'm going to get rid of the body of this uh, this block and replace it with information from our uh, from our database on the user. So let's start off with uh, adding in uh, these two lines <clears throat> in our controller action um, and. Since we're not going to do any embedded Ruby, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, remove. Actually, I don't think it really matters, but I'm just going to do one of them, um, and then uh, <clears throat> uh, and we'll generate the the front matter for our our resume. Okay, so what I want to be able to do is print the uh, user information. Uh, so the the name of the person and then the rank and the department <coughs> as our um, in our Word document. And I'm going to start off first by uh, uh, setting the style for the document. And this style, I'm going to set the font and the font size and that kind of thing. And I need to define these as styles within my document. <coughs> so I'm going to create this style. <clears throat> Excuse me. The um, I'm gonna set the the uh, identifier for uh, referencing this, the body, um, and then the name of the actual style that is body. And I'm gonna set the font to Times New Roman. Oops, Roman. And then a font size. Now the font size in Caracal is is measured in half points. So if I want a 12 point, uh, if I want 12 point font, then I need to use uh, two times that for my font size. So I'm going to have a font size of 24. Uh, and then, um, so this, I'll, I'll refer to this, um, this style in my document uh, when I'm setting the style for the different paragraphs. So the first thing I want to do is take <clears throat> the user information and display that. So <clears throat> if I look at the <clears throat> account information. Uh, what I want to grab is college, department, and rank as uh, the things I'm going to display in the Word document. And one of the places I can find that, of course, is in the uh, the definition of the um, of the profile. So I have college, department, and rank. Those are the parts that I'm going to pull off of the user information. So uh, what I'm going to do is create First of all, a uh, H2 tag, it's called personal data, uh, and then a paragraph. Uh, but I'm going to do this paragraph as a block, and then put all of the different pieces in that I was looking for. So first of all, I'm going to set the style of the paragraph to body, um, so that it's using 12-point font and Times New Roman. And then I'm going to set different texts for the um, for the personal data. So I can do this uh, in a number of ways. I'm going to start off with name. <clears throat> um, actually, I'll add the space there. And then the name is uh, user user dot first name. Another space user dot last name uh, and then I want on the next line after that uh, I'm going to have the college text user dot uh, department and user dot um, rank and I 
think I want spaces in there. I guess I can do these as concatenation. Um, let's do it this way, concat. <clears throat> Do the same thing here. Okay. All right. So I want to see if this works. So I'm going to run this application. If I just go back to the home page here and generate the document and see what we get. So there is. Uh, my Word document, so I've got name, and then I've got that line of concat concatenated engineering. Actually, that's hardly meaningful. I guess I would want to say something like, um, college dot concat. And department and rank. Let's do it that way. <coughs> okay, now let's see what we get. <clears throat> I open up my Word document that I've just downloaded. Uh, it's still ugly. Anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> I should probably have some other spaces in there. Uh, that's not the important part. Okay, so. Uh, so we have the personal data, and so I want to then also have the uh, the loop, have a loop that will go through each one of the experiences and put that into the document as well. Uh, and so let's do that as a loop. So I've got this experience, so at xp dot uh, each, I'm going to do experience, and for each of these, <clears throat> I'm going to create another paragraph. So docx.p do, and and then I'm going to have a style here for body, and then let's see what information do I want to pull out of experiences here. So start date, end date, name and description. Uh, let's just do name and description because I don't need to do all of it to demonstrate this. Um, so we'll just do experience, actually text, experience dot, what was it, name, name and description, name and text space in there cat experience dot description okay so that should do it generate the document take a look at that so there it is <coughs> so I obviously would want to format this better and be able to get this <clears throat> um, according to dates and all of that. But uh, as a demonstration of how to generate the Word document, I think this suffices. Uh, you see there's all of the different uh, uh, different jobs. Um, we match that up against experiences. Those should pretty much all be the same. Um, so company and title there for all of those. So. Anyway, so that's uh, that's basically how the the gem works. Uh, the documentation for Caracol pretty much covers everything that you could possibly think of that you would need in a Word document and how to how to construct it from how to do styles, um, how to do different custom properties and paragraphs, which is what we've used here. Uh, you can do links and tables. Um, there's lists. Actually, tables, I think, is going to be uh, uh, an interesting thing because you can create your headers 
and then each of the cells based on that. Uh, similar to what we had to do um, in being able to generate the tables for um, for the HTML that's generated through uh, through Rails. So anyway, um, that is um, that's everything here for uh, for the time being. We'll probably do one more of these. Uh, actually, I'll probably do one on tables, but this is enough for you to to get going. Anyway, that concludes this video.